Go to Genesis chapter 24, verse 1. Uh -huh. right. Let me just read this. Notice I'm not trying to preach. Stop somebody saying he's not trying to preach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you hear me in the red sweater? I'm not trying to preach. Do you hear me? Because I don't want you to look at me like he ain't do nothing. It's not my job to preach. My job this morning is to release a prophetic utterance. Uh -huh. That if you receive it in the spirit, it will change and shift yes, your entire life. Look yes, so at your name say, I have a promise. I have a promise. I need you to understand that even though we have a promise, everybody's not going to be happy for us and our promise. That's right. Amen. 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 I need you all to understand that even though we have a promise, the enemy's job is for us to first um, hear the word of the Lord. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. To hear the proclamation. Yes. And the proclamation is you do have a promise. Uh -huh. But anytime. We hear the proclamation that God's getting ready to bless us, that God's getting ready to turn us around. And uh -huh. if you so, and give your tithes and offers, I'm going to make some stuff right for you, uh -huh. even uh -huh. now. Anytime we, anytime we hear the word or the proclamation of the Lord or the prophecy of the Lord, the second thing that will always follow is a problem. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on, come on. Come on. So you will give your tithes and offerings and go home and something is disconnected or something breaks down because the enemy wants to now turn your faith. But because you have a proclamation, I'll prove it to you. The word of the Lord says, Jesus said, let us go to the other side. He told his disciples what the proclamation or the prophecy was. While they were going to the other side, the Bible says, let a storm arose. I need you to understand that the storm was not there before Jesus said, let's go to the other side. That's right. Many of us are facing demonic storms which will try to weaken our faith. Anybody here in the storm right now? Anybody? Yes, that, 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 yeah. It's okay. It's yeah. okay. Because if we go back to what the Lord said in the beginning, he says, I'm going to go to the other side. You should rest in the prophetic word that God has already spoken over your life. Amen. 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 Yes. Somebody yes. should shout right there. Yes. Now, the truth is, many of us don't know what God is saying already, so we don't really know what we're doing. Anybody in this room lost? I'm, I'm hurrying, Pastor. Anybody in this room lost? Lost? Okay. Let me, let me, I don't mean spiritually lost. <laughs> Is there anybody in here struggling to find the footsteps and footprints of the destiny of your life? Ah, oh yeah. uh -huh. You're not the only one. People just don't so. want to tell their business in church. Right. But many of us have no clue where we're going or what we're doing when it comes to the word of the Lord. We're just walking out these steps hoping that one day we'll be in Jesus. But the truth of the matter is many of us have not planned our life the way that God is calling us to plan for victory. Shout right. hallelujah. Right. How do you know that? Because many of us are still struggling with, with, with what we need to get to where God is taking us. Right. Come on. That's why some of us still struggle with time. Because you don't know that you're already a millionaire and it's already done. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. That's why some of us struggle when God shuts the door on relationships in our life. Because you don't really believe that you are king or queen and some folks just don't mean you're no good. So God has to clean your house so that he, you right. can now Come go on. to another place in God. The truth of the matter is, had it not been for God shutting the doors on some situations yes, of our I'm life, some of us would not be here today. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing. Y'all ain't gonna say a word. You gonna act like you wasn't the one. If God hadn't let that stay happen. See so what the word says, and I'm gonna hurry up because I just wanna say this. The word of the Lord says in, in, in chapter Genesis chapter 24. Uh, I, I found, let me tell you how I know the Lord was with me. Because I didn't know how to preach all this in, in, in a short time. And the Lord let me look at this Bible, which is a quick scan Bible. Y'all know what a quick scan Bible? Amen. You don't have to read the whole text. It just highlights it for you and makes it all make sense. So I'm just going to read this a little bit and I'm going to look out and do it. And Abraham was old. Genesis chapter 24, verse 1. And the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. Verse 2 now. And Abraham said unto the eldest servant, Put thy hand upon thy thigh, and swear by the Lord that thou shalt not take a wife unto my son and the daughters of the Canaanites. Verse 4. But thou shalt go unto my country and take a wife unto Isaac. And the servant said, Per adventure, the woman will not be willing to follow. Must I need brings the son again unto the land from whence 
uh, thou comest. And Abraham said, Beware thou that bring not my son thither again. Verse 7, The Lord spake unto me, saying unto the seed, Will I give this land? He shall send his angels, and thou shalt take a wife unto my son. I want to skip down, all the way down, um, and I'm going to read to you. Oh, help me, Lord. Verse 63, y'all ready? Isaiah, Genesis 24, verse 63. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field at the evening time. And he lifted up his eyes and saw, and behold, the camels were coming. I know it don't sound like much. <laughs> That's why I didn't know about it. Ooh, I got my shit. It sound like that. But Lord, sanctify your work. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. Now we bless your name. Y'all give me four minutes. I'm going to get out of here. All right, if you have your Bibles. Um, the Lord said in verse uh, 66. Hold on, I'm right past. I can't read. 64. Uh, 63. And Isaiah, Isaac went out to meditate in the field and he saw that the camels were coming. Can I, can I help somebody who just needs to understand that your promise is on the way? Come on. I told you it didn't sound like much, but, the, but I, I want y'all to understand. Can you look at somebody and say, your camels? Your, your camels. camels. I, I don't want y'all to get confused to say that our camels. Because our camels will be inclusive of everybody. Now that's good. I understand that we need to be inclusive. But the truth of the matter, y'all give me three more minutes. I, I want you to understand that your camels. So I need you to make this a little bit more personal when you look at the person, point out and say, your camels. Your camels. I, I don't want the camels in the room to get mixed up for you to think that my camels need your camels. I don't want, I'm smart enough to understand that your camels don't need my camels. I need somebody to just grab this word and say, my camels are on the way. My camels are on the way. You all don't understand, but there comes a point in your life when you get desperate, I'm not talking about desperate housewives, but I'm talking about the promise that God has released in our life, and you don't see nothing. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Any people who feel like every time you look in your bank account, you should have no money in it. The camels are coming. Is there anybody who walks through the doors of your house and say, look at this mess. God, I thank you for it, but this ain't the way I'm supposed to be living. And I've been 
and watching people get exalted over me and I come to a realistic place. The biggest two places where people lie is Facebook and the church. Come on. Don't nobody want to tell the truth on Facebook. Don't nobody want to tell the truth in the church. And there comes a point where you work is always shouting. I was shouting just as hard as Sister Sally. Hey, she got a job, but I'm still on the There comes a time when you question, is God? John the Baptist said it like this. He says, are you the one? Or shall we look for another? 